hi guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss how we can split the addresses in cache mapping okay so guys like if you are watching this video it means you are already computer organization and architecture student and you already have an idea what is cache mapping or what we call it memory mapping so memory mapping is when we bring some word from the main memory and to the cache memory and how we can calculate their addresses okay so guys in this video i am going to discuss how we can split the addresses in the cache mapping okay so in cache mapping guys there are three techniques okay one is direct mapping then is associative mapping and then is set associative mapping so guys in this video we are going to discuss so when we have address bits how to calculate address bits and how we can split it according to the different mecha mapping mechanisms okay so guys the aim of this video is to teach you how to calculate the diff split of the addresses in a different mapping techniques so guys for the full video all of you stay tuned karen jeckley live now guys suppose this data is given to us which says your main memory is 4 gigabytes 4 gb your cache memory is 16 kilobytes okay and your block size is 8 and your block size is 8 and they ask you to calculate the to split the address okay according to direct mapping associative mapping and set associative mapping so how do we do that so guys the first thing what we need to do is we need to calculate the address bits so to calculate the address bits what you need is the total capacity of main memory okay so how you will calculate address bits so total how many number of bits we need to address the memory so it is 4 gb okay so guys what is 4 if we convert it to the power of 2 4 is 2 power 2 and what is gb gb is 2 power 30 okay so then what we get here if we add these powers 2 plus 30 okay 2 plus 30 so what we get is 32 bits so total number of bits which we require to address these memory locations is 32 bits is 32 bits or you can write 2 power s plus w set plus the word is equal to 2 power 32 is equal to 2 power 32 now so what it means s plus w is equal to 32 now guys if we have w from w we can calculate the s from w we can calculate the address okay i hope this is clear so this is the total address length 32 bits okay so then how we will split these 32 bits according to different mechanisms that we will discuss okay so first let us calculate w now what is w w is the block size w is the block size the total number of bits needed to represent the block size means 2 power w is equal to 8 2 power w is equal to 8 so how many bits we need to represent 8 so we need 2 power 3 is equal to 8 so then what is w w is 3 w is 3 now we have total number of address bits that is 32 we have w that is 3 and what will be s since s plus w is 32 so what will be s s will be 32 minus 3 so x becomes 29 so s becomes 29 okay now we have this information we can calculate all this information that is total number of address bits that is 32 a and what is w that is 3 and what is s that is 29 from this information 
so all this will be calculated from the total capacity of main memory let me revise it quickly so main memory 4 gigabyte so total number of addresses will be 4 is 2 power 2 gigabyte is 2 power 30 so total number of address bits will be 32 okay and 2 power s plus w is equal to 2 power 32 so it means s plus w is 32 so the block size is 8 okay so how many bits we need to represent 8 okay so we need 3 bits so 2 power w is equal to 8 so w becomes 3 so once we have total address bits that is 32 and we have w easily we can calculate the value of s that is 29 okay so what we will calculate from the main memory so we will calculate the total number of address bits we will calculate w and we will calculate s okay so now in the next part so what we have we have cache memory we have cache memory so what is cache memory they are saying cache memory is 16 kb is 16 kilobyte okay so this is the total capacity of cache okay and what is the word size in each line of cache that is the block so because normally when we do mapping we say one full block of main memory can fit into one line of cache so what is the block size block size is 8 so total how many lines will be there in cache total how many lines will be there in cache block size is 8 total capacity is 16 so how many lines in cache it will be 16 divided by 8 that is 2k lines that is 2k lines means so total capacity 16 okay so in one line goes 8 in one line goes 8 so total how many lines will be there 16 divided by 8 will be 2k lines okay so now how many bits we need to represent 2k lines how many bits we need to represent 2k lines same formula same formula so guys what is 2 what is 2 2 to the power of 1 is 2 and what is k 2 power 10 so what is k 2 power 10 so what will be r r is the total number of bits required for cache to represent the cache lines r will be 11 r will be 11 how that is 1 plus 10 gives you 11 how do i get 1 i get 2 power 1 is 2 and i get 2 k k is 2 power 10 so r becomes 11 okay now guys we have this information we have r we have w we have s now using this information easily we can split the address for direct mapping associative and set associative caches now guys let us calculate the split for direct mapping associative mapping and set associative mapping so guys this is the split for direct mapping so total number of address bits are 32 are 32 now what is w we also already calculated in the first part w is 3 so what is r r we also calculated now number of bits required to address the cache lines so r is 11 so r is 11 okay now what is the tag size tag size is s minus r okay now guys what was s s was 29 s was 29 29 minus 11 so 29 minus 11 gives you 80 so what we get is address split in the direct mapping 18 tag size 18 r 11 and w 3 okay and guys in order to check whether your calculation is correct or not you add these together and the total should be 32 so let us do it so 18 plus 11 29 29 plus 3 is 32 so here is the address split for direct mapping okay 
So then comes associative mapping. So this is the easiest split which you can calculate simply S and W. So what is W? 3. What is S? 29. Again, if you add 29 plus W gives you 32 bits. So that is associative mapping. Okay. So then comes set associative mapping. So guys, set associative mapping is similar to direct mapping, but there is a little catch in it. So in set associative, what we do is we split the total number of lines into equal sets. We split the total number of lines into equal sets sets okay so total how many lines we had in cache we had 2k lines we split them into two sets we split them into two sets so how many number of lines in one set number of lines in one set will be 1k will be 1k because total 2k i divided into two sets in one set will be 1k now using 1k I will calculate the D. So how many bits I need to address the number of lines in one set. So 1. What is 1? 2 power 0. So what is K? K is 2 power 10. So what is D? 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. So I calculate D as 10. Okay, so number of bits required to address cache lines in one set. So again, 10, what is W? We already have 3. And here also we will calculate the tag similar, okay, to direct mapping. But here it will be S minus D. So guys, what is our S? S is 29. And what is D? 10. So what will be the tag size? 19. What will be the tag size? 19. So again we add them 19 plus 10, 29. 29 plus 3 gives you 32. Gives you 32. So guys, I hope you understand it. I hope you understand it. Okay. So for your reference, we will do one more example quickly. Now guys, let us take this another example where the main memory capacity is 16 MB. Okay, so how many address will be there in 16 MB? So it will be 16 is 2 power 4 and what is MB? MB is 2 power 20. So total number of address bits will be 24. Total number of address bits will be 24. So what will be that? S plus W is equal to 24. Now, what is the block size? Block size is 8. So, 2 power W is equal to 8. Okay. So, 2 power W is equal to 2 power 3. So, what will be W? W will be 3. W will be 3. And S plus W is 24. So, what will be S? S will be 24 minus 3. That is 21. So, we have S. We have W. Okay. Now here guys, so they did not give the full capacity of cache. Rather directly they said your cache is 4k lines. Your cache is 4k lines. So what will be R? What will be R? 4 is 2 power 2. So what is K? 2 power 10. So what will be R? 2 plus 10. R will be 12. R will be 12. So now we got S, we got W, we got 12, we got total number of address bits. Now let us split it. So what is W? 3. What is R? 12. What is S minus R? 21 minus 12. 21 minus 12. 21 minus 12 is 9. 21 minus 12 is 9. So let us check it. So 9 plus 12. 9 plus 12 is what? 9 plus 12 is 21. 21 plus 3 gives you 24. So what is this? This is the split for direct mapping. Then comes associative mapping. S plus W. So what is S? 21. What is W? 3. So what we get here is 24. So then 
सेट एसोसिएटिव सो हियर दे से द टोटल कैपेसिटी ऑफ कैश इज 4k लाइंस इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू सेट्स इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू सेट्स सो ईच सेट हैज हाउ मेनी लाइंस ईच सेट ईच सेट हैज 2k लाइंस सो व्हाट इज 2 2 पावर 1 व्हाट इज k 2 पावर 10 सो व्हाट विल बी d 1 plus 10 so d will be 11 so d will be 11 so now again we have d that is 11 we have w that is 3 then we have s minus d so s was 21 21 minus 11 what we get here is 10 so again 10 plus 11 Gives you twenty one. Twenty one plus three again gives you twenty four, and our numerical done. So guys, I hope you understand this. So guys, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be up uploading more and more lectures on uh, different topics of information technology and computer science. And guys, all of you, thanks for watching and stay tuned.